guys, Big Z here from Side by Side Guys. We got a fresh delivery of new product from Gorilla Whips. I wanted to go through it with you and kind of give you a preview of what's to come. First, I wanted to start with kind of a, a look back at my current whip situation. It, they are six foot Gorilla Whips from 2016. Um, they have been through the ringer and back. They couldn't have been through, through more abuse, uh, torture, and various situations that they probably should have never been in. Um, but they've held up pretty well. They're not the prettiest things to look at. Um, as you can see, they are fairly well um, jimmy rigged to survive. I have had to re-solder these uh, multiple times uh, due to my own um, neglect going through tree branches at 60 miles an hour and leaving them out in the sun at an angle to bend and corrode. But they've been fairly serviceable um, simply uh, remove uh, the sealant from the, t the ends and remove this strip resolder your joint and put them back in so I've actually been really happy with these whips now these whips are the LED whip extremes uh, we had gotten them from our local four wheel parts shop they were an easy install they were a uh, fairly sweet uh, setup for the time uh, but over the years um, they've been kind of annoying to not have the various color options and um, brightness uh, that I've wanted. So uh, I was pretty excited to hear that Gorilla Whips is under new management. They've kind of disappeared from the market over the last couple of years, um, but a couple new guys have taken over. They're really excited to bring the product back to the market and they are upgrading all the products. They're putting better components together and coming out with some new options for you guys that uh, you haven't even seen yet um, that we're pretty stoked about. So. Kind of wanted to go through this, kind of give you a preview of what's coming down the pipe on our review list. Um, so getting into this, they sent us a couple different packages. Um, first, let's take a look at these ones. So these are the three foot LED whip extremes. These are essentially the same uh, product that I have in the six foot, um, but they are the updated polytube, uh, which is a bit more rigid, um, and it has the uh, newer LEDs as well. Um, all Gorilla Whips come with the same basic kit. So let's cut this off of here. So you get your basic instruction manual, you get a tie in harness. So you get your two bare wires to tie in to your 12 volt, and then you have an automotive grade um, hot and negative. And then you have a couple bolts and wire splicing. So if you don't want to do soldering or crimping, you can just use these splices. And then this bolt mounts to whatever mount you want to use to their uh, quick disconnect mounts. So if we just pull, uh, we just pull this pin out like that. Um, this mount would simply just mount to your existing uh, bar mount or roof or um, even the flag mounts on your side by side. The bolt would go through the bottom and then through the top. I found that the bolt they give you to go through the mount here um, is really only accessible by an Allen key and it's really hard sometimes to get it lined up with the shaft to get the necessary torque you have but once it's mounted you never touch it so it's really not that big of a deal um, so the LEDs simply go in with the tail sticking through that slot and then each one of them is individually drilled with this hole to facilitate the pin going through and holding the polytube in the mount. So you can see that these are pigtailed on the side. They are weather sealed with hot glue on both ends um, and then they come with a rubber cap to cap it off and then they include a safety flag and the flag mounts. So you can choose to run a different flag. All you have to do is take the top off, take the collar off, put a new flag on, put the collar back on and you're on your way. By the way, if you, if you use a flag or don't use a flag, 
um, you're going to want to glue this cap on because I found that you lose them pretty quick. So with these LED Whip Extremes, uh, you'll see that there's a there's an LED strip inside that is back to back. With these silver Whip Extremes, uh, they do feature the individually addressable LEDs. So these will do the dancing, they will do the color combinations and the various patterns that you've started to see around the industry. Um, they do it in a linear fashion, up and down. And I believe, we'll have to take a look at this, but I think both ends of the strip are started from the bottom so that they are addressable straight to the top so that they match on both sides. Uh, we'll have to double check that in the video. So, they also sent us a pair of their twisted silver extremes. And these are a little bit different. So let's just pull the, the install kit off and take a look at them. So again, they come with the, the flag. This time they come mounted, so let's take that off so we can take a look at it. So these are definitely thicker than the Silver Extremes. Okay, so with these ones you can see that they're still a pigtail style, except they don't go through the channel like the Silver Non-Twisted. Uh, they have the same quick release and the same mounts, so they're using the same poly tube as the Silver Extremes, and so then instead of going through the poly channel, they're going around it and they're going around the outside. Now something I'm noticing right off the bat, a lot of the cheaper uh, brands will use the LED strips without any weather sealed coating because they heat shrink the outside. These ones actually are putting layer upon layer of weatherproofing here. So you'll notice that they've chosen to use um, the, the weatherproof stripping that has the actual outer shell, the outer stripping around it. Um, and then they're twisting that around the poly tube. And what that does is it actually creates uh, more durable protection around the LED unit. So not only do you have the heat shrink around it, but you also have that clear tubing going around the LED channel. And then that is being wrapped around the poly tube. Um, I can see a lot of benefits from that. Um, one of the things that that does that people don't realize is they actually make the whips glow brighter because the actual whip itself, all this plastic, starts to refract that light all around and becomes, um, it appears to be a bigger light source than it actually is. So I like that feature. We'll have to test that out and see how that survives in our Northwest environment, running through trees and limbs. So on this side, we can see that pigtail going in. Uh, looks like we have a more substantial Maybe the controller is a little bit different in there. And these are all individually addressable LEDs as well. So they'll do all the dancing and day glow effects that you're, you're seeing out in the industry. Um, and then you can see that the tip has been um, heat shrink down as well. So the tip is not lit the first couple inches. And then you can't see in the video angle, but basically this, this acrylic tube is, is completely hollow with nothing going through it. Grill Whips has also sent us a couple of their heavy duty uh, whip springs. So instead of mounting your, your spring mount straight to your UTV, uh, you can mount this to your UTV and then this mount to that. And then this becomes a stress relief for your whips. So with our six foot LED whips, because of the length on the poly tube and the thickness of the poly tube, uh, the bending is quite quite loose. Like you can you can bend it pretty far over. I've had these things, oh gosh, almost yeah, over 90 degrees from mount, and they haven't split or cracked. Um, they haven't shattered or anything like that. But at the same time, that abuse has also made my whips um, break solder joints. So I've had to go back through and resolder those joints. Um, so having a, a spring kit like this, where you can take some of that stress off the whip, will definitely save and protect the lifespan of your whips. So these are a great feature. Now, these are substantial 
substantial whips, uh, springs. These are not, they're not easily moved. Um, I would suspect that it would take quite a bit of force to bend these over, um, but that amount of force is actually what breaks your whips. So I think those will be a great uh, item to test out on the trail as well. Now, Gorilla Whips also sent us these um, additional wiring kits. So uh, not only will these get you going uh, to get your whips installed, but if you install more than one whip, you're gonna want the extension kit that this provides. And if you look at these connections, these are actually using, I don't know if you can see that, but they're using a three pin connection. And these are a weather sealed connection. So if I were to take a male and a female side, um, these actually go together with a notch. So there's a key uh, built into the mold. And then there's an O-ring for sealing. And then the nut goes over top and creates a weather safe uh, seal on your connection there. So this is great um, if you um, take your whips on and off all the time. Having that quick disconnect um, makes it super nice. So they, provide, they provided us both uh, harnesses and wiring for uh, hooking up both LED whips to the same controller. And then in these, this is the standard kit that you get. If you only buy one. So this is the remote that they give you. Now, this is a little bit different than the old extreme remotes, like this one. Um, so we'll see, you know, how those compare. They're both RF, so they're not line of sight, but they are wireless, true wireless. And so it's nice to keep these just in the glove box. Um, we usually put them in a water, waterproof bag or into a Ziploc bag just in case we get wet. And so here's your standard remote instructions for controlling the colors and, and sequences. And then here's a one to two controller. So you have your harness coming in here, creating the connection there. And then you have your actual controller with RF receiver. And then you have a pigtail for two different units. Um, I'm not sure if they provide this exact harness for all units, and then you just have the option, or if they send out the individual one, but on our six foot, you only had the single, and we actually had two controllers in line, and we had to synchronize them using the remote at startup, and there's instructions on how to do that. But when you go into the dance modes and the flash modes, um, they don't always synchronize, so having one controller with a dual pigtail is how you achieve synchronized whips. So anyways, um, we got a lot of installing to do. The nice thing is we already have this wiring harness installed on a razor, so all we have to do is swap over to this controller and then wire in the jumper cable and we're off to the races. Hey guys, we're excited to have you here. If you liked this video or the channel, hit that subscribe button and hit that like thumbs up down below. If you didn't like it, hit that thumbs down to let us know what we could do better. Leave a comment down below. What whips do you use? Are you a back-to-back uh, -back style guy? Are you a twisted whip guy? Are you making your own? Do you have a local company that makes them? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear your feedback. Until the review next time, peace. Peace.